Howdy folks, Dave Soap is brought for, to us from Wet the Face. This one here is called Mr. Warlock. And it's got the um, scent just right around there. It's got, it's uh, peppermint, uh, camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus. And um, show you what it looks like there on the inside. And definitely great for my nose. <laughs> definitely opens it up in the morning. I don't, wouldn't consider, at least off the puck, um, it's not not exactly uh, over the top, but the the scent is definitely there. Uh, really nice for my nose. And decide to, uh, I'll use this off camera, but decide to go ahead and go with uh, Duke Cannon's. Uh, this is the ice cold uh, aftershave balm. Uh, pretty good stuff. I, I like it. It it works well for me at least. And I've got it whipped up here in a wooden bowl with a brush that I got from uh, Greg. Uh, Wagner, excuse me there. Um, that's what it looks like there on the bottom. It's got a cashmere knot in it. Whipped up pretty good. Uh, I like the cashmere knots. Though, to me, those are pretty nice knots. Work well for me. It's got something in my eye, and I don't think it's any of the lather. At least not yet, huh? Um, blade of the day. This one here is uh, made in China. Valet, this is the uh, Super uh, Blue Blades. And uh, I have it in a Parker. I'm, I'm trying to remember what the model number is. I think it's 96R. Anyway, it's twist open. Go ahead and get it open here and show you what the blade looks like. And this is a platinum slash uh, Teflon blade. I'm going to give it a try and see how it works in this Parker here. Twist open. Go ahead and get started. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning. Get started with the... Phoenix Arson Accoutrements uh, Pre-Shave Cube uh, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I haven't changed it up yet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a moment. This is going to... I think I've only used this once or twice. I haven't used this particular shaver very much. Twist to open. Which is pretty easy to use. Weather here has just been fantastic. I think today is supposed to get up to 68 degrees. I mean, considering last week we were a bunch of popsicles. And today we're, you know, we got fantastic weather. I think Wednesday is supposed to drop about 10 degrees. I think the high is like 57 or something like that. Let's, I have to check it again, see if it's changed. Got a chance for a little bit of rain still, last time I looked. Which is a good thing. Because sometimes we here in Oklahoma have a tendency to go several, <laughs> several days without rain. Especially during the summer months. And as much wind as we get, it dries out fairly quick around here. Been looking forward to this particular shave. Um, I like these kind of scents and soaps. Like I say, for my nose, uh, certain times of the year, it it just really helps open up my sinuses, where I at least smell for at least a moment or two. And this soap I should have showed you um, by sticking my finger in there. That soap is really soft. It's it's more of a I would at this point I'd almost say it's a more of a cream because it is super soft, really easy to get a scoop out of there and whip it right on up. And it whipped up a lot like a cream, also, I should say. Justin uh, had made a video a few days ago. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I was going to make the comment I think the video might have been two minutes long or close to two minutes long and it probably takes less than that just to whip up uh, uh, lather with a uh, shaving cream it, uh, that is one advantage of a shaving cream is that it does whip up pretty darn quick I'm not saying that it takes that long for a soap but it's just you know one of those things the ease of lathering with a uh, shaving cream Is a good selling point for a shaving cream for me 
the scent of a shaving cream versus a soap, to me, there's a lot of a difference there for, for me. But that's my nose, which is not the best in the world. But I do use shaving creams from time to time. Trying to, I guess you might say, keep my experience kind of broad. It's the reason why from time to time you'll see me use a shaver like this. Because here pretty soon, now that I've went through numerous Parker shavers, whether it's a shave bed or a uh, DE. I'm not saying that you're not going to see very many more DEs, but I'm going to be shaving more with uh, shave heads and straight razors. Pretty easy going shave this morning. That is one thing that is kind of nice when you're doing shaves like this. Um, for me, the concentration level is uh, not near as much as with a shave head or a straight razor. Pretty good uh, beard reduction. Definitely uh, enough for a second pass. Uh, we'll see after a second pass whether how that third pass is going to look. Kind of speak to the efficiency of the shaver. It's pretty smooth this morning. Just a little bit of blade feel, not a whole lot. At least with this blade. Different blade, it might feel different. I think I've only used, used this blade once other, one other time, I think. The way I remember it. It took me a while to give them a try. They're not bad blades by any means. These are, seem to be pretty decent. If you have used crystal blades in the past, kind of remind me of those blades. Yeah, that, that they do. They remind me of crystal blades. I still have a few of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crystal blades, by the way, are made by Persona in Israel, if I remember right. Sometimes those blades aren't the easiest to find, at least. Um... Uh, I've seen two different versions of crystal blades. One just being, uh, I guess you might say, in what we would commonly see in a package. I uh, think they could come in a plastic pack. And I've also seen them come where they're uh, like the kind that you might hang up on a hanger in a store. Uh, I've seen them two different ways. The one I end up ordering was in a pack. That we are typically accustomed to seeing blades in. You don't see too many that are made where you hang, in other words, an ind individual pack up on a hanger somewhere, like in a store. Don't see that quite so much anymore. I have to say, the soap is a little bit slippery. Which is to be expected from Don. I enjoy his soaps. His soaps work out well for me. They have for quite some time. Just a little bit on the against the green pass there. Trouble spot. But it's um doing pretty well. Not a whole lot left on the third pass. Am 
might depend on your beer growth, whether your third pass is just a pickup pass. This is really easy to use. I think the total length of this is uh, near the four inch mark. So in other words, um, if you got a little bit larger hand than mine, it should work out all right for you. Enough room for your hand. Four inches, I think on their uh, twist to open is about the, I guess you might say common mark for, I don't know if they got any that's near the four and a half inch mark or not. I don't recall off the top of my head. The um, overall, um, as it goes for the cooling effect, if you're looking for something that might be considered over the top, you probably want to go to the cold fusion side of it. This one here, um, I wouldn't say it's over the top, but it is definitely present. I mean, it's it is it is there, but it's not it's not anything like cold fusion or uh, <clears throat> excuse me anything quite like that. Um, I think it's the might be the camphor that's uh, that I'm feeling in my on my face. Sometimes it's peppermint. Peppermint does a good job with my nose also. I have a uh, got one shave that's uh, I'm waiting on here pretty soon. Actually, two uh, from Sterling. One of them's wintergreen. I've used the wintergreen before. Now it has a, a really nice uh, effect cooling effect on the face, but I'm also looking forward to the uh, uh, tangerine. Citrus works well for me too. Looks like I'm trying to get a spot right there. Just a little bit of stinging this morning, just a little bit, not much. Humphrey's Witch Hazel. Haven't been to Marshall's in a while. Be kind of interesting to see what they have because sometimes it's a, a feast or famine. Sometimes you'll go there and find all kinds of great stuff. And then sometimes you'll go there and, yeah, not so much. <laughs> At least stuff that I'm normally interested in. They got plenty of uh, cologne or EDTs or, you know, stuff like that. But for me, I looking for the uh, find of, uh, you know, artist shaving or whatever it might be, a tube of Prasso, which is great. Uh, find it on the cheap. Like I said, I'll go ahead and use this off camera, but this is pretty good stuff. Uh, it comes in two different sizes, and I got a link to it down below. Uh, this one here is the six ounce size, and I think the other one, is it eight? I can't remember for sure. Might be a lot bigger than that. I can't remember what two sizes come in, but it comes in two different sizes. So the prices will be different. Uh, this one here I got in a local grocery store. Uh, was kind of shocked to see it. It was uh, one of those, wasn't on the end cap, but it was one of those that, you know, islands, if you will. Just happened to walk by and see it. Thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. And um, it's pretty good stuff. It's uh, It tells you it's got shea butter in there. And it's got a few things like that that... Uh, Helps with the face, especially for me during the winter months. Sometimes aftershave balms work better than aftershaves. Help keep my, my face uh, moisturized because it does get pretty dried out. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay warm, and smooth shaves to you.